Gee, no what? Oh, sorry for that. Uh, gee, no wonder this uh, thing does didn't run on one guy around. And look at this. Uh, before it was like three hundred. Oh wait. No. Oh wow, that's my recorder. It's taking more RAM than the game. Wow, I've never seen that before. <laughs> my web browser takes up more RAM than this. Now that shows pretty good for um old Maxis. I mean, look at this. This this is designed for power BCs season is taking hardly any RAM. I mean, I wish I could have to make it take more RAM because then it'd probably run faster. <laughs> I'm this is uh, I I bet I could make higher settings that this isn't designed for my show what's ever happened. Um oh that that was a brunt then a brunt then uh to the music, but anyway today we're doing the terror rolling tutorial which my mods have absolutely nothing to do with. I think there might be a mod. I'm not sure if I have installed yet, but uh, right now. But there is a mod for um in mirror mode accessing these tools for like for free. Just kind of ridiculous actually. But uh, welcome to the terraforming tutorial. From shaping landscapes to controlling the forces of Mother Nature and beyond. This step-by-step -step tutorial will introduce you to the powerful capabilities you have at your fingertips in the God Toolbar. Oh, also, it's kind of funny. Um, there's a Power VC pro uh, program that's working almost perfectly on my Intel MacBook. Um, um this actually works quite well, because I have an old computer. This is an old game. This is made in 2004. And, in fact, this was designed for older computers than mine, so, I mean, this works with, uh, power PCs, which are, like, really old. And do you, th do you think my computer's old? Power PCs are really old. Like, my computer was, like, made in 2007 or something. Um, so, this game runs quite well. It's for its time. I wish there's a way to make SimCity go faster, though. I wonder if that's in the options. But, um... Yeah, there's a slight glitch when you have a certain population that crashes on Intel Base Max. Otherwise, it works fine. Um... Just wanted to do thoughtful tutorial. Did you have it your hand in the gone toolbar? If I didn't mention that. This tutorial. I'm... Probably not going to use this much. Maybe the disasters. Oh, you're kidding! Oh, I thought you existed. Wasn't using this tutorial. Glad he decided to continue. We'll use this blank landscape with no signs of civilization anywhere. That's important to know because once a city is established, you have a more limited set of godlike tools. Since there's no city in uh, here, let's get to work shaping this land. Oh. Huh. Continue. Let's start with terraforming. Terraforming is the act of shaping landscapes. And can create mountains, valleys, trees, and animals with this set of tools. Oh, whoops. Let's, uh, I didn't know that would happen. <laughs> Let's raise some mountains. Click the Make Mountains button and select the mountain tool. Move the cursor over uh, some part of the landscape. You'll see an outline circling the area that will be affected using this tool. Click the hold left mouse button. Shave a mountain. The longer you load it on one, in one slot, the larger the mountain. I'm gonna make a small mountain. I don't like large mountains. <sighs> I don't like mountains at all. In this game. In this game. Um, in action law of city building games, not, um, uh, landscapes kind of make, uh, the, lo the plot buggy. This is why Minecraft is so nice, because it's made out of squares, so there's not really any bugs where, like, since the roads curve, the land is like over it and the walkway just goes off a sheer cliff 
um, yeah, then it goes onto the streets. So, um, flatland is actually best for this, not mountains. Mountains are so mountains are even worse. Even not, even fairly flat land is pretty bad. You need ever, extremely flat land. Some terraforming dice. You can click and drag with any of the terraforming tools. In the case of mountain tool, this will create mountain ridges. To affect smaller areas, you can hold down the control key and just affect larger areas. Hold down the shift key. So, control, shift. That's huge. I can make this entire map a mountain. This is a small map. So I'll make um some ridges. Now let's make a valley. Or a uh, lake, actually. That also works. Because if you see... I'll control this. If you hold it for long enough and so make it deep enough, it finds water. Old games are so nice, they run on older machines. Older computers. The road tool gives your landscape a craggy look, so if you press the road tool... It... it makes it slightly craggy to look good looking. Let's bring this train to life with trees! Um, that sounds weird, uh, with trees and all these things. We need to need sound like a singing or something. So, it looks kind of weird. That's when it's, there's nothing there. So that's why where trees come in. They make it look slightly more realistic-ish. Oh my! Oh, that's so awesome! Xcode finally finished downloading. That's awesome. That's what that sounds for. A download finished. I'm so excited to use that. There's so many Linux things they want to get on Mac, and it allows me to. Compile source code! So finally I'll be able to run Linux applications. Which use source code. Often. That's so awesome. Center to view a little bit. This is going to be laggy. This game doesn't really run that well. Because it takes so little RAM. This tower PC doesn't take let enough RAM as an Intel 64-bit. If it was just 64-bit, that would probably help a lot. They should remake Sim City 4 like a clone. A Sim City 4 is so awesome. But not like copying it, I mean like, um. Like, um.
like recoding a version that's like it. I mean, there are other worse versions, so I, like SimCity 3000. Not sure how it was like, but like SimCity 4. It's gridded, but it's pretty nice. There's some capabilities it lacks, but it's still one of the best. Besides FPS issues, that's because I'm using so many mods that definitely will probably cause FPS issues. <laughs> Sorry for that blow on the microphone. I actually heard that. Because these headphones are awesome. Now, now it looks slightly friendlier-ish. Like this terrain at all? Terrain's pretty bad, but the buildings look amazing. Such bad graphics. Low end graphic. Actually this looks pretty unrealistic, the trees. Whatever it now for fun, let's add fire you know, or whatever it is. However it's pronounced. L uh, l click on the create Fiona button and select wild animals. Move your cursor over the an area you'd like animals to roam. You can hold the um Left mouse button uh, to create a stampede. Best seat in the house is always the closest one. Uh, closest zoom. That's actually the closest zoom. They didn't have the closest zoom. You also have horses and woodland animals. These are kind of like safari African. <laughs> They're already animals. This is like the furthest seat. Whatever. Does it really make a difference? Well, not the best zooming tools, though. See, it's like African elephants and things. They die off in the cities there for some reason after a while. Um, you can control day and night. Heave your sentence bays bathed in for <laughs> not bays in, you know that's a word. Um, heave your sim bathed in perpetual sunlight sunshine. Have them living their eyes their lives to light the moon or to lights. Or and or allow day to pass into night as would be expected. It's up to you. Click on the control day and night button to access these controls. Oh, wait for a second. Sorry, sneeze there. I muted my microphone. Um, click on the control day and night button to access these controls. Sneeze look really nice at night. Oh. <coughs> uh, sneezes. This is crazy, because this actually has shaders. I wonder how Minecraft can't run the shaders mod on my computer. If things seem, but if things seem a bit too calm, we can take care of that. The God Bar includes the option to create disasters. Let's try out some with this open landscape. Later you can decide if you'd like to let Mother Nature loose on a city. 
Move your cursor over near the trees you recently created. One, uh, one, click once to unleash the power of the wind. Once it appears, you control with the mouse cursor. The trees are all gone. So you controlled the mouse cursor somehow, I don't know how. Oh, I think that just adds another one. I don't know. It's a little glitchy there. Uh, it's kind of going under the terrain. Zooming and help. Oh, you hold on the terrain in the direction of the trap. <laughs> ah, that could have gotten better. Yeah. And what is Reunite? Does that just basically make it match with um, the rest of it? And I made sure not to do it, so, um. There's no problem. Uh, now we've mastered the powerful god to bark. Um, so, yeah, I'll exit. And I don't care about saving this, so exit to region. Bye!